Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer, the third Sunday after Trinity. Come on in. said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light was good and he separated light from darkness so evening came and morning came it was the first day this is the day which the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it we have come together as the family of God in our father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving to hear and receive his word to bring before him the needs of the world and to seek his grace, that through his Son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Jesus said, the first commandment is, Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the only God. Love the God, Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Let us confess our sins to the Father and seek his pardon and peace. Almighty and merciful, merciful God, God, we have, have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word and, and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart and we have not loved others as Christ loves us. us. We, are we are truly sorry. In your, your mercy, mercy forgive, forgive us. us. Help us to mend our lives that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of God's name. Amen. May God our Father, who by our Lord Jesus Christ has reconciled the world to himself and forgives the sins of all who truly repent, pardon and deliver us from all our sins and grant us the grace and power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open up our lips and our mouth shall proclaim yeah. your praise. 
We sing to you, O Lord, and bless your name and tell, and tell of your, your salvation, salvation from day, day to day. day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Worship the Lord. All, All praise to his name. name. St. Mark. He also said, This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seeds on the ground night and day, whether he sleeps or gets up. The seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. All by itself the soil produces grain, from the stalk, then the head, then the full kernel in the head. As soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come. Again, he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet, when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shades. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. But when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. Here ends the reading. Let, Let us together affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and, and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's, God's only Son, our Lord. Our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, as he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we are gathered together in love and fellowship, please hear us as we bring before you our cares and worries for the world. Everlasting God, we pray for your church throughout the world, for Christians everywhere meeting to worship and praise you today. Grant that we and all your people may be built up into the faithful family you deserve. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. Holy God, we pray for Christians working in places of power and influence who make decisions which affect the lives of people. We ask you to bless those who work in politics, especially all who are seeking our vote for the 4th of July, but also those in the media, in advertising and in the financial markets. They all know what to say and how to act for the benefit of all people and at all times to be true and faithful to you. Hear, Hear us, us, O Lord. Lord. For your, your mercy, mercy is great. Father, we pray for those we love, our family and friends, the special people in our lives, wherever they may be. We pray for them as they deal with their hopes, their fears, their problems and their needs. But most of all, we thank you for each one of them and for what they give and mean to us. Hear us, O oh Lord. For your, For your mercy, mercy is great. great. Loving Father, we bring before you now all those we know of in need of your healing in their lives. Comfort the sick and suffering with your living presence. Heal and strengthen weak bodies, calm confused minds, and reassure the lonely with your company. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. Eternal God, we pray for your wisdom and guidance in the coming weeks, not to judge by outward appearances, but to look and listen for the hearts of the people we meet and hear and see on our screens. To remember that people look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. great. Let us unite ourselves in prayer and the prayers of all the faithful by saying the prayer that Jesus Christ taught his disciples. Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, that as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life, to serve you as perfect freedom, defend us in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your protection, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by your power we are created, and by your love we are redeemed. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to you in love and service for one another. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the love, love of God, God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, all evermore. evermore. Amen. The Lord, the Lord bless us and protect us from evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen.